Family members of 10-year-old Anthony Hemming say he was a great student and he loved football. They say they were in the middle of unpacking in a new apartment when this accident happened. That's where they gathered today to mourn his loss. Outside the Aurora apartment where 10-year-old Anthony Hemmings died from gunfire, a young relative cradles the stuffed animal and wipes away tears. Throughout the day, a steady stream of family and friends bring balloons, flowers, candles and notes, setting up a memorial for the young boy. He was a bright young man. Uh, he touched the lives of many uh, that he came across. Um, more importantly, he had a future. You know, this young man was in school, you know, striving towards goals, and now that has been taken away from him. Aurora School Board member Eric Nelson stops by to pray with the family, who it's clear is struggling to come to terms with the loss. I feel prayer is, is a time for healing, prayer is a time for peace. Anthony had just finished fourth grade. His family was in the process of moving into this complex Thursday. Friday night, police are called to their basement apartment just before 10 p.m. Officers found the boy suffering from critical wounds. He died on scene. No child should suffer that. No child should have to suffer the loss of their life due to gun violence. Family says the shooting was accidental and self-inflicted. Aurora police say two adults were home at the time and the cause is still under investigation. I can't even imagine. Nelson says the boy's death is an issue the community needs to deal with. I think we need to increase uh, educational programs, you know, around gun safety um, to where families would have that information and, and that way when kids, you know, run across a firearm, you know, is, is they're not going to lose their life to it. Members of the Aurora Public School District are holding a candlelight vigil on Monday at 6 p.m. here at the MLK Library on Colfax for the 10-year-old. They say speakers will address both gun violence and gun safety. In Aurora, McCready Agater, Fox 31 Denver.